So that was overriding theming functions. Now let's take a look at overriding template files. And you might already have an idea of how this is going to work. So let's jump back to our module directory and open up the tenth step, which is called overriding files. Copy this entire code and paste it into the look and feel module, overriding everything else, and save it. Okay, so this is identical to our previous file except for one line, which is right here. And what we're doing with this one is we're taking the entire page template, so everything, all of the content gets passed to the page template and gets rendered in the HTML and body tags and any wrappers like the footer and the header. So what we're going to do is replace that entire template with something very simple. So it will be a very dramatic change. So what we're doing is taking the theme registry array and we're finding the page item in it. So this corresponds to page.tpl.php and currently it's registered in our theme directory. And we're taking the path. And so the path sets where the template file will be found. We could also change the name of the template file, but we'll just go ahead and keep it page.tpl.php. Now we're changing the path to our module directory, which we're getting with Drupal get path. Now I'm going to go to our module directory and here we have a page.tpl.php file. Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay. So this looks very different than most page.tpl.php files. We have our header, which is just a basic description of the file. And then we have our HTML, which is an H1 tag that says every page will have this heading. And then a PHP print that will render the page content. So this is just a stripped down version of the page.tpl file. All right, let's go ahead and save our look and feel module file. And then go to our browser and rebuild the registry by flushing the caches. When this loads, we'll see that the entire page structure, all of it, the HTML that would normally be around the basic content is all gone. And all we have is our heading tag and our content down here. So we've covered most of the important concepts around how to work with the theming layer from your module. Now the overarching principle with working with the theme layer is that we want to make it as easy as possible for themers or designers to work with the output or the presentation side of our code and not have to touch the logic or functionality side of the code. So as we make decisions as to how to implement our template files or theme functions, we want to figure out if we want people to easily override it. And then when we override existing theme functions or template files, we should do so in a way that makes it easy to be overridden from the theme layer. So some of our later examples in this video, such as overriding the page template from our module file, would make it very difficult for a themer to then override that in their theme because we are trumping that. From here, you can take a look at the source code of the final step in your .module file, step 11, final with comments. And there's just a few challenge yourself items here. Once you're feeling comfortable with the theme layer, go ahead and move on to the next video.